forget about me and all the things I could give to you, baby. But I guess you can't see making new memories. So hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. So yeah, I have almost completed two years in Canada and now I'm going back to India. Yeah. So yeah, I, yeah, that's funny. So yeah, I'm going to India and I will definitely come back after a month. But here is my journey from Canada to India. We will see how the immigration goes. I will go via uh, Abu Dhabi. So we'll share the experience of Emirates and all other stops. So let's go. Even though here it is duty free but it's too expensive. You can see the Toronto Raptor t-shirts. It's 112 dollars. So, so from starting, uh, so these are the moving elevators here. So from starting I can say that when I arrived here, uh, yeah, first I have to go for, first I will go to the section of Emirates. They will check my package weight and all other stuff. They check my baggage and once they check my baggage weight, they will give me a boarding pass. Also, they will see my passport and uh, yeah. And here we go. Going to India from Canada is fun. So yeah, currently I'm going to India from Canada. Uh, I have spent two years here. So I will just go through the process of getting into the airport. So yeah, my friend picked up and I came here. And I am going via uh, Abu Dhabi. So once I get in, once I arrived at the airport, I will go in the section of the Emirates. They will check my passport. They will check the weight of my luggage. And once they are done with the luggage and all of the stuff, then they will just give me a boarding pass. So before getting boarding pass, I request you to do online check-in 24 hours before uh, going. So you will get an email uh, 24 hours before and you can do an online check-in and book your seat free of cost. For example, if you have a window seat available, you can book free of cost. So it is always advisable to do online check-in uh, 24 hours before uh, your departure. So once you are done with the online checking and when you arrive here, uh, you will just go directly in the line of online uh, boarding pass line, online checking. So once you go there, uh, they already have your information because in online checking you put all your information of the passport, your details. So they will just see your passport and then you have to go. Uh, okay. So they check my luggage weight. They also told me that if you want to send cabin bag directly, I said no, I will take cabin bag with me. So I took my cabin bag with me. And okay, that's all good. So after that, uh, we had a lot of time left. My flight was at 9.40 and I arrived here at 6. Uh, so I have to arrive uh, four hours before. So we, we are all done at 7. So I went go back with my friend at team hotels. We had some coffee and we sit there for half an hour and then I come back again at 8. Uh, when I arrived here, I did uh, security check-in and all this stuff. So I did my own security check-in. Uh, I put my laptop and all other in the tray. So I always suggest you to take multiple trays, put laptop and all other stuff. Once you do your security check-ins, you are inside. So in the ticket, they have written that for Emirates flight where you have to go. So I am at C33. So now I am waiting for my flight. Departure time, they will call my name and I will go back to India. So that's it. Uh, and there were so many custom stores, but the price is so expensive. It's better to buy from outside and come. So I don't advise to buy anything. Okay. <coughs> Bless me. <laughs> Okay, bless me and subscribe. <laughs> and we will go further. I will at a custom in India and all this stuff. 
Thank you. So yeah, actually I forget about the baggage. So you can take two baggage with the Emirates. Two baggage uh, and carry 23 kgs. Uh, I guess uh, 50 pounds. Yes, 50 pounds. So 23 kgs, 50 pounds. And you can carry two baggages and uh, one cabin baggage. In cabin baggage, they say you have to carry 7 kg. So I almost carried 7 kg. And in the carry on baggage, they didn't ask anything. It was almost 10 kg. I took two laptops, phone, charger, and all other stuff. My laptops are only almost 4 kg, 4 to 5 kg. They are their laptops. So uh, it was good. Uh, you can carry almost 8-9 kgs on your you know, laptop bag. This one, it's too heavy, they didn't ask anything. And for cabin baggage, it should be 7 kgs. So that's it. Uh, now they will call. I have to sit here, they will call. Uh, first they are calling for wheelchair, economy class, and then they will call our ticket numbers. So see you at the flight. So when I arrived at Abu Dhabi International Airport, I went for shopping. I was looking for dates because dates are famous here and also camel milk chocolates. So yeah, almost done. The gold is at the same price. Uh, you can buy dates. Absolutely, you can buy uh, camel milk chocolates. Uh, otherwise, it's almost common and i actually paid through forex card i already had a forex card of thomas cook uh, borderless so that was beneficial i just tap and i paid and uh, yeah because in forex card you don't uh, you don't have to pay any extra charges so that was beneficial uh, and yeah uh, now i'm getting back to my flight so goodbye Finally arrived at Ahmedabad, and uh, the fun part was there is there was nothing at security check. Uh, they were not talking, checking your mobile phones. Even if you have kept your mobile phones in your pocket, they wouldn't check that, and they they will just scan your baggage, and they they will not even ask you to open your baggage, put your laptop in the tray. There is nothing things like here. Just take your bag, and so if you are moving now. <laughs> you can bring anything man so yeah that was fun part and at the immigration they just asked me my passport my boarding pass yeah passport and boarding pass that's it and yeah good to go now i'm getting off <laughs>